You want to hit big RPOs like this one? Here you go, wide bubble pop. We're looking outside to inside. Got him. Moved it. And we're out. Let's go. Let's go. Easy 20 right there. Easy 20, and that's how you do it. RPO. Huge advantage there for you. The RPO is one of the most versatile plays in the game, and if you're just handing the ball off every time without giving yourself an option and running clinic plays where you have multiple options, you're severely hurting yourself against the computer, against users. So many times these are either big home run plays or just easy first downs, and it just takes a millisecond to change it. So let's talk about RPOs. I like to run Oregon's playbook simply because they have a great option for bubble RPOs as well as a couple smokescreen RPOs. And then also on top of that, they have a very vast amount of pass plays, including letting the running back in a lot of the pass options. If you don't like this one, I highly recommend checking out Wake Forest's playbook. They're very good when it comes to RPOs. A little bit limited on the rest of it, but very good when it comes to RPOs. So let me talk about some of the favorite plays. And just all I ask, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if this doesn't make any sense, you have some questions about it, I want other videos, just let me know. I'm here to help you all out. So the easiest way to find it, you could go to option and then RPO read, RPO peak. Those are ways to go about it, but the cleanest way to go is go by play type. Play type, RPO, and then it's just broken down right there for you. And this is where I usually select all of my run game, all of my RPO game, and I don't really just run the ball. I always run an RPO because I want that option, and then the run game will work off of the RPOs. The first ones that we really like to run are anything with the bubble. So you see here X and triangle both have a bubble in it. Square, RPO, bubble, Y, pop is hands down one of the top RPO options that you can have and then secondly the other ones we really like is anything with a smoke screen So a smoke screen is when a receiver just turns and catches the ball that is uh, Just a smoke screen. So like what you see square uh, The receiver who's getting blocked. I mean he's catching the ball and then two guys are blocking for him That's what's called a smoke screen. You'll see a couple of them here including um, This is a really good one halfback slam alert smoke and then there's a stack one in this playbook as well. I'll get to it in a second. It is right here. A double stack. So gun double stack, RPO alert screen. This is a really good play as well. And you can just hit home runs, get easy first downs, uh, the whole nine. Let me dive into a couple of these really good options. I'm going to show you exactly how to read them. I'm going to start off with RPO bubble Y pop and show you how why this is so versatile and so good. I'm just going to run random defensive plays so that way you guys can see a whole bunch of different looks and have any questions. I know a lot of people are going to be running a lot of cover four, and I put up a video about how to beat cover four, and it's a lot of RPOs. So, spoiler alert there. But uh, first off, you need to know how to run an RPO. If you want to throw the ball, you just hit the person's button. So if you want to throw the bubble, you just hit R1, make sure it's a bullet pass, and do R1, hold it down. If you want to run the ball... Don't hit anything. Don't hit any buttons. Uh, you don't have to hit R1. You don't have to hit triangle. You don't have to hit X. Just let him hand the ball off, and then you take over once he hands the ball off. In my personal opinion, when you're running RPOs, you should highly rec. It should really be spelled pro, right? It should be pass run option. Run should be your last idea here. You should always be thinking pass first because that's where you're going to get your big home run plays. So always think pass first. That's step number one. Step number two, always read the outside backer. So the person who's directly over R1, that's who you want to read. If he does anything, if he steps towards R1, then we're out on R1. That's not our guy to throw to. If that backer runs towards the quarterback and the running back, then he's done. He's over, and R1 is the guy to hit. We throw it right away with a bullet pass. And just so you know... If you want to run the ball, just don't hit anything. If you want to pass the ball, hit hold the button down and make sure it's a bullet pass. But if you want to run the ball, just don't hit any buttons and let him hand the ball off. All right? So this one looks really good for us, right? Right out of the gate, you can see there's nobody above triangle. It gives you that second option. So if we look at that middle backer, he doesn't move anywhere towards triangle. We're going to get him right up the seam. 
So we're just going to move in a progression here. And it's going to happen very fast and it's something you have to practice. R1, triangle, run the ball. So look at the outside backer. If he moves immediately towards R1, we get to triangle. If nobody moved towards triangle, we throw it to triangle. If somebody moved towards triangle, then we run the ball. And obviously, they have a safety down in this situation, so it's probably a blitz. So triangle probably should be open here. Right? So you just got to, it's going to happen quick and it's something you have to practice. And I'm running random defenses here so that way you can see a whole variety of situations. Same situation, right? So we're looking R1, triangle, hand the ball off. Pre-snap here, it looks like there's a guy over R1, there's a guy over triangle because the linebacker's cheating towards him. There's nobody to the left side of the field. So we're probably running the ball here, but don't be too quick to run the ball. First person we're looking at is the guy over R1. He went out, and then we're running the ball. All right? You could have hit triangle in that situation. It did happen very quickly, but it doesn't hurt to run the ball because we also had an advantage over there. You can have a something in your mind that helps lead you towards where you want to go in the end, but at the same time, don't just throw out ideas. So same thing here. We're looking outside backer on R1, the guy with the P over his head, and then we run the ball. And we're running the ball. And you can see how big of lanes we have here, right? So, like, these lanes are huge to run in, and they're just as good as if you were running inside zone. So this is a situation, right? They're pretty wide. R1 has nobody, has one person over him. Nobody up the seam route. If anyone, and nobody's up the seam route, so we're thinking probably seam here. These are just easy first downs. This run right here is one of my favorites, RPO read bubble. This is one of my other favorites. This is I'm just going to go through a couple of my favorites here, and you guys can figure out the rest. I'm going to do the bubble Y pop. I'm going to do the bubble and then the smoke screen. I don't want to make this video too long, but this is kind of the ones that I really recommend. Anything with the bubble, smoke screen, and then bubble Y pop. So in this situation, you can see the read is... This guy is A this time, right? So it's the guy over circle. That's the person we're reading. That's the person we care about. If he moves anywhere towards the running back, then we throw it on the outside. He moved in, we throw out, and now we're out there on the outside. You can see how quickly we can get these advantages here, and it plays a huge part. It's really that simple. Same thing. He stays outside, we run it inside, and we're really taking off. All right? So those are how you run the bubble ones. I'm going to show you how to do a smoke screen now. All right. So in this situation, we, we have numbers, right? Everybody's kind of cramped up in the middle. The person we're looking at is R1. Does R1 run towards circle? If he does, we run the ball. If R1 stays put, and I'm talking about the defender on top of R1, if the guy in front of R1 stays put, then we can throw it on the outside. He stayed put. We threw it on the outside. We got two blockers and we're on the edge. We have numbers here. Do they run towards circle? No, they don't. They backpedal, pass, and then we're on the outside. All right, so lastly, this smoke screen is one of my favorites. It's called double stack. And you're just counting numbers here, right? So in this situation, it's two and two. So I'm going to go to the left side square. Just because uh, I'm... Yeah, I'll go to the left side square. So all we care about is do they run towards square? They back up. I throw it out here. Boom, I'm on the outside. Quick 10, 15-yard gain. That's, it's literally that simple. Do they run right at him or do they backpedal? Two by two, I can go to the other side. Do they run at him? They back up. I throw it. And these are first downs every time. It's literally that simple. And these are, I'm playing a, a variety of defenses so you can kind of see it all. In this situation, right, you got a guy pressed on the right, no press on the left, so I'd rather go to the left here. They back up, I throw it. And then you're just one-on-one. -on -one. You make one guy miss, you're going all the way for a touchdown. In this situation, we have three and three, so we're probably going to run the ball here, right? You run the ball, boom. 10, 15-yard gain right there. 
So I hope these RPOs help you guys. That's what it's all here for. If you have any questions about any other RPO reads that you'd really like, just let me know and I'm happy to help you all out. But keep it keep it simple. Keep getting first downs and that's pretty much it. Just move those chains and then the big plays will happen. You'll be surprised at how many people miss tackles one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Catch you later. Thanks for subscribing. We'll, we'll see you in another video. Thank <laughs> you.